Hello guys and welcome to my new video. Today we are gonna talk about resequencer pattern. But before we start I would like to ask you to subscribe to this channel. Also in the description you can find a couple of Amazon affiliate links and buy me a coffee link where you can support my work if, if you really want to. There is also a github repo link where you can find all examples I showed in the previous videos. And this one of course. So, resequencer is used when we want to collect input messages, reorder them and send them to the output channel in some specific order. It should not modify the original message. So what is the mechanism behind the actual pattern? Well, resequencer uses uh, internal buffer to collect messages which will be run through a stateful filter and then sent to the output endpoint. So for example, uh, we have uh, some header which will uh, define the uh, priority or uh, like some ID. We can then filter by that ID and uh, sequence them in from ascending to descending or descending to ascending or whatever you like. So we'll show that in the example later. So here is the actual example. As you can see, we have resequence route and resequence route test here. We have three routes. The first is the actual the simplest resequence route, which use header order to define uh, the actual order the header order should have some long value 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and it will order by it. Resequence reverse is the same as uh, this route here above but it has the reverse so if we send messages in 1, 2, 3 right here he will be 3 to 1 and that's it. The third route is the resequence body so we will not use header but the actual body and resequence it by it. So again, we will send one to three or three to one and get the same result as here. Uh, what should I mention is that there is an option for the batch processing and there is option to define the size of the batch, which could be five or every five messages you should uh, resequence and send. And there is also timeout to define every 15 seconds. Every 15 seconds or at size 5, but it was remove size. So every 15 seconds sent the resequenced messages to the mock result. Okay, so there is also to ignore invalid exchanges or duplicates to, to allow duplicates so it does not throw an exception. So yeah, let's um, check the actual tests. I wrote a uh, free test for this, for these three routes. So yeah, as you can see, we have get mock and point and assert that uh, message count is three always. And for produce messages, we will use the set header order one and body one. And we have three exchanges and three, three template producers. So in this case, for the first test, we expect we trigger this route and expect uh, bodies received to be one, two, three. So, and also we will uh, send <coughs> We'll check headers. So headers here are one, two, and three. In the second test, we have the bodies list received to be reversed. So not one to three, three to one. We still use the order header. And for the third test, we use the actual um, body. So as you can see, the sequence body and we expect to be one to three. So if we add another route and another test and put reverse here, we will get the same result as here, but there is no need to do that. This is enough. So let's run it.
Okay, as you can see, the old trip um, test passed. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you next week in the next video. Bye bye.